I'm going to run through how to build a scalloped bezel uh, in this tutorial. Uh, first of all, we're going to get a gem out there and build a bezel around it. All right, we'll F6 to build a bezel. And that'll work just fine. Uh, and since we're going into a different operation here, it's always a good idea to job bag before you do so. Now, when I want to scale up the bezel, um, what you want to do is only highlight the bezel, hit F6, and choose the bezel cutter option. Okay, now it's going to come up with a preview. Uh, this is only a preview. We're not done yet, uh, but this is what you might call interactive booleans, where it's showing you uh, what this bezel would look like after the boolean operation is truly done. Uh, now it's only showing us one preview of the cutter. Uh, the rest are kind of hidden. Um, that's okay. That's what the builder is going to do. Now it's showing us the uh, the last cutter used. If I click on Edge Profile, it's going to bring up my options. Okay, we'll just go choose a different cutter to uh, work with here. All right. Now, as soon as I uh, start working on this cutter to, to change the angle or shape or, or what have you, um, it's going to display all of the cutters, and then it's going to go back to the one cutter. All right, so that's just the way the builder works. Watch as we work in the menu here, which I do suggest you use uh, to start off with to get comfortable with uh, what's going, out, going on out on the screen. Uh, we're going to start running sliders. Notice all those previews come up. Okay. Uh, and it has a separate control for the X. There it goes back to the one. Uh, for the X inside, and then the next slider is the X outside. So you can control all of these uh, ends separately. Same with the Y. There's the Y inside, and there's the Y outside. All right, um, cutter length, of course, is going to change the overall length of that. Cutter angle is going to give you a drastically different look according to what angle you do. Uh, it's going to determine the metal um, as it cuts in there. You can either have it almost straight uh, back uh, towards the gem or you can angle it like such. Z offset, you might want to move that around. It's not going to change the cutter, it's just going to move the placement of the cutter. Give you a different look. And a Y offset, uh, here again, that's going to also change the look of it. X offset is going to, you can see in the looking down view, it's going to uh, start to spin those around a little bit. Um, your, your cutters would have to be kind of long uh, to begin with in order for that to probably to work out so that all the cutters went through the wall of that bezel. And then the last one is number of cutters. Uh, it's defaulting to a number of six cutters to cut through that bezel. Um, if you click on the plus or the minus, uh, it'll up it. It goes anywhere from two to eight. Here again, give it time to catch up. As you click around here in the menu, uh, there's a lot of math going on. It, it takes time to, to catch up with what you're doing. All right. Um, 
when we like what we see, you're simply going to click enter to be done and you've got your finished piece.